Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So we're going to watch this video here. We're going to watch, it's like a four minute video. It's, it's, um, we're only going to watch maybe two minutes. That might sound long, but it's actually really, really wild because what we're talking about today is this, this man here that you see on the screen. He, um, he's a 45 year old dude. The 45 year old man, and he's stalking a, a 12 year old little girl who's a YouTuber. She does little YouTube videos or whatever, and this guy is absolutely over the moon, psychotically obsessed with this little girl. Again, 12 years old, and he's just falling over himself trying to marry her. It is absolutely in insane so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this uh we're gonna watch uh some of the uh, the, the body cam footage and um yeah that's what we are gonna do what you're gonna do is like subscribe share help me grow this channel definitely on uh at third relify on rumble because what you're watching now is hate content it's harmful content uh i'm, I'm saying that a little bit more in these videos because I want it to be known that that's what YouTube has, has labeled this. They refuse to monetize me never again because, um, I bring you the news, I guess, buckle up. That's, that's, that's your warning. So a sickening video shows a 45 year old stalker showing up at tween YouTubers house, begging for a date. All right. Yeah. I'm seriously trying to get a date with the girl on the internet. Okay, yeah, but you're going like door to door, trespassing on all these people's properties. Like trespassing, knocking on someone's door, trespassing? Yeah, if you don't have permission to be on their property, absolutely. So you. Typically speaking, going up to a person's house and simply knocking on their door unsolicited is not trespassing because that's, that's how you go up to a person's house, the front path into the door. But I mean, if it's, if it's kind of in a a stalkery kind of way, then, then I guess maybe that could be trespassing. Um, but yeah, up to this video or up to this point in the video, he's, he is vaguely in an area and he's knocking on everybody's door, knock, 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 going from house to house to house, asking if his love is there, the love of his life, this 12 year old girl. And, uh, uh, Lots of neighbors have called the police. And the police is now interacting with this guy. That's basically where we are in the video here. We're, we're actually going to jump about two minutes because that's when things start to get really spicy. Because you don't know where she lives. You don't even know who she is. From who? Are you from Oregon? I am from Oregon. Oh, you got this guy's got You got to take this guy in. Why? He's been harassing my... The twelve-year-old daughter online. That's how old she is. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna forbid me, little children. My name is Ask Little Children. Oh God, this. Oh my God, the FBI is involved in it. So please. the FBI. You yeah. know what? Hi, right, hey, hey, stop, stop talking to him. All right, step down here on the street, get off this property. All right, I'll be with you in a second, yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so so th there's your answer. This girl you've been talking to is twelve years old. You're obviously an adult, so that so that that conversation. Forbid them not. Hey, forbid them not. She is 12 years old. That is her parent. He will forbid whatever he chooses. Am I clear on that? 12 is very old. I was looking for a six-year-old. All right, that's disturbing. You know what? Holy and profane. I'm holy. He just said that 12-year-old is, is really old. He was looking for a six-year-old. This guy, I mean, you need to fire up a piece of forestry equipment. Throw him in it. This guy is crazy. And I don't know what all this biblical stuff is that he's saying. He's saying all kinds of biblical stuff that I, I don't understand the reference. If you understand the reference, comment below and let me know. I tried to read all the comments or all the comments that, you know, for those watching on YouTube, all the comments that YouTube allows to, you know, get through. But, oh my God. He was looking for a six-year-old. Oh, she's 12? That's kind of old. I wanted something. 50% younger. Oh my goodness. And so is my church. 
the church of I am Christ. I am Christ. Uh, what are you, what are you, you, you need to, you're, what are you, homeless? You live in the area? I'm homeless and a truck driver, and I'm... I'm okay, where, uh, do you have a truck around here? I'm waiting to make some money, man. Okay, how are you going to make money? Driving trucks, man. Okay, do you have a truck down here? No. When I get some, I'll get some money when I drive some trucks that got a Class A license. Okay, but if you don't have a truck, how are you going to make some money? All right, what, what's your first name, up? What's your first name? My name is As Little Children. As Little Children? As, as Little name. Children. So what the as? hell? My name, first name is As. Okay, a, is it A-Z-Z? -Z? As in As, become as little children, or you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Uh, as that's, that As. That's not making any sense whatsoever. Become as little children, or you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. That's what it is. Okay, become but, but as little but children, but that's, but that's, or you will not enter so the kingdom what, of heaven. So what is your government? Whatever back, back you up, think is paying up, you, whoever you think is paying you, I... I want to point out right now that this officer is uh, demonstrating absolutely amazing self-control. From what we can tell, just on his body camera, you know, he's he's holding he's holding a pen, he's writing in his notebook. He hasn't reached for a taser. He hasn't reached for his firearm or or any other use of force. He is. He is giving this guy a lot of leeway, a, a, a lot of rope, and uh, he, other officers at this point would have already had a taser drawn or their collapsible baton out or, or maybe even their OC spray. Whatever use of force, another officer would have already had it out, especially if it, if it was a female officer that was much smaller. Like this, this, this guy who's screaming as little children, heaven and all of that stuff, he's I don't think he realizes how, how lucky he is. He's, he's already said that he, he wants a six-year-old girl, but he's there for a 12-year-old a, a girl, and that he wants to take her on a date and marry her, and that's his girl, and blah, 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 all, all that kind of stuff. So he's already demonstrated that he's crazy. This officer is, I, is he's doing very well here. I can pay you more. So, well, you're not paying me. I can pay I'm you more. If it's money, so, so that's what fine. Is, so what is if your... it's for diligence, sir, sir. I'm here for sir. my woman. And if she does not want me, okay. I will leave right now forever. Well, the father has and... said that you are not wanted, so you, you, you should leave forever. Forbidden this officer's not. got Forbidden so not. much patience. Well, that, that's not your place to say that, that you know, you're, you're, you're not welcome here. So what, what is your government name that you were given on your on your birth certificate or driver's license? My, my name is, uh, you want some social security number? Sure. What's your first name? What's what's the As what's the name what's the name given to you by the government? Timothy. Timothy? And Timothy, what's the what's the last name given to you by the government? Nielsen. N I E L S E N. Forbid them. No, he's just highly agitated. Forsake your Forsake your been wife, your daughter. With a Twelve year old female at this residence. For, forsake your sons, forsake your daughters, forsake your wives, forsake children. Do not forsake little children. I'm little children, and if you're an officer of well, the law, you're, that's you're, it. You're, you're if you Timothy, will die for Timothy Jesus, Nielsen. if you will die for Jesus, die for Jesus right now. If you want to have me taken in underneath the law, go ahead, because you want to you want to fight for that badge right now. Go ahead. I am the, the one Church of Christ who is Muslim and Christian, and we have the living God who has never died. Okay. And if you want to be on 14 headquarters, whatever. That officer has patience for days, it seems. That's actually very impressive. So that is the, the um, I guess, the, the exciting part of the body cam footage. So 45-year-old Oregon man, cyberstock to 12-year-old YouTuber for years. He showed up at her Ohio home before he was arrested by authorities. Killing. Body cam footage shows Timothy Nielsen, barefoot and manic, standing outside the young girl's home. Brunswick police told him he was trespassing on private property. And that uh, he said he was just trying to get a date with a girl on the internet. And really, he obviously meant girl, little girl. In the video, the father of the young girl told officers that the FBI was already involved. This guy's been harassing my 12-year-old daughter online. Nielsen was seen becoming belligerent and told the police, 12 is too old. I was looking for a six-year-old. As the officer told him, how disturbing that was. He was arrested and later charged with menacing by stalking and importuning 
during the July 28th, 2022 ordeal that was captured on police body cam. Importuning in Ohio is defined as the act of soliciting a minor to engage in a sexual activity. He was later found guilty on three accounts and sentenced to the maximum of four and a half years in a prison at trial. But the young girl's family believes the charges were not tough enough and alleged that they have an emergency protection order in place. Nielsen first began communicating inappropriately with the minor after watching her arts and crafts videos on YouTube when she was just six years old. So that's probably why he was looking for a six-year-old. He was so crazy, he didn't realize that, you know, her first videos, she was six. Six years had passed. He was probably still watching and God knows what else he was doing to the original videos. Like, he's absolutely a pedophile. 100% a pedophile. The youngster's parents shut down her social media channel and believed at the time that she was not in danger since Nielsen lived in another state, as per the news outlet. However, Nielsen's infatuation grew. He searched for the juvenile on other platforms, creating fake social media accounts and disguising himself as someone else. You know, the old catfish. He even tried to contact friends of the preteen. That is absolutely psychotic. Now, sometimes people get obsessed with um, YouTubers. Melanie Mack, the lovely Melanie Mack, for, for example. She, she had a, a stalker. It could have ended very, very bad. He even met her in a parking lot one time. It was a big thing, a very big, dangerous thing. A bunch of YouTubers have, have um, I'd say, fans that are a little too enthusiastic. I mean, if, if anyone wants to stalk me, just, just have big boobs. I'm kidding. More of an ass man. Once he discovered where she lived, he traveled more than the 2,300 miles from his home in Gresham, Oregon, to Brunswick, Ohio. When he arrived at the girl's neighborhood, he went up and down the block, knocking on doors looking for the young girl. Concerned neighbors contacted the police, and he was later arrested. He's currently serving a 54-month sentence at the Allen Correctional Institution and is up for parole in 2026. But the victim's family is very fearful, and likely they should be. Because what does this guy have in jail if he's not, I don't know, shanked with a toothbrush or something? He's just going to be in his little cell thinking about that little girl as a six-year-old, and he's going to be obsessed. A spokesperson for the family told the news outlet that this was not a relationship. There was no back-and-forth communication. There was never a connection between the two of them. It was just this one-sided thing where he would watch the video of the six-year-old girl and just grow more and more obsessed. He locked onto her, and despite the protections before and, and after this happened, Brunswick Police Chief Robert Safran told Daily Mail that their initial call uh, was regarding a suspicious person walking through the yards. He said, we put something together and spoke to the parents and found out it was the same man cyberstalking their daughter. Safran added that before Nielsen gets released from prison, they notify the victim and the family. We believe Nielsen is a dangerous individual. We are not sure when he is out, where he'll be headed. January 2027 will be here soon, as you know it. Well, that is. His release is January 2027. When police asked him what his name was, he uh, first said, ask little children before officers were able to get him to disclose his birth name. I don't know what ask little children means. I guess maybe it's Bible related. I'm not, I'm not really sure. It's, it's kind of odd to me. Nielsen told police he was homeless and a truck driver before he chanted about God and the kingdom of heaven. In the video, he told police, I'm here for my woman, and if she does not want me, I will leave right now forever. 
made bizarre movements and at one point kneeled down on the pavement and waved his arms in the air like he just doesn't care. The officer told him that the, um, the father said that you're not wanted, so you should leave forever. He snapped back, forbid them not, repeating the phrase several times before he said, forsake your sons, forsake your daughters, forsake your wives, do not forsake little children, I am little children. Again, I don't know anything about what that means. If you know, comment down below, let me know. I'm a little bit ignorant about some of the craziness that people spout about the Bible. The cop asked him how he found out where the little girl lived, and uh, he said the internet. The officer, who remained professional and composed throughout, like I was saying, he was, he was patience for days, this officer had. He didn't reach for a weapon or, or any other use of force. I mean, just putting a hand up, being like, you know, keep your distance. That's it. This this crazy fella, very, very lucky. Um, anyways, the crazy guy was told that um, what he was doing is against the law. You can't have a relationship with a 12-year-old. Her father forbid it. You're not welcome on this property, he said before asking him what his long-term goal is. Now, it takes a, I don't know, a special kind of person with a special level of patience to talk to a, a, a pedophile, someone who would do horrible, unspeakable things to a young child like that. Like, you can't have a relationship with her. How many of you out there can probably talk to an individual like this so level-headed? No, you can't have a relationship with a 12-year-old as opposed to, you fucking pedophile, why don't you go fucking die? So, again, kudos to, to that officer. The officer at one point tried to assist Nielsen by offering to put him on an RTA bus up to Cleveland to a homeless shelter. Nielsen told the police, five years is a long time. You don't understand God. At times he was babbling and said he wanted to take his life, but said he was not suicidal when police asked. He added, I'm in a nightmare, man. I've been five years here, man, on the same girl's. I don't do any other girls, man. I'm not putting anybody in danger. I'm not looking for sex. Maybe just a date for coffee or something, man. Maybe just to meet her. I'm a virgin, he said. Well, maybe maybe that's his problem. Maybe, maybe the 12-year-old is not the tree to bark up for that. You know what I mean? The cop then asked, do you think 12-year-olds drink coffee? <laughs> uh, maybe if it's... 12-year-old girls will drink an ice cap. That's for sure. An old ice cappuccino. Old Tim Hortons ice cap. They'll definitely drink that. Uh, Nielsen was cuffed shortly after. Police retrieved a number of needles from his pocket and a bottle of uh, small black paint that he said he uses to make homeless signs. He said he did not have any drugs on him and that he had sobered up before he got to the house. January 25th, 2027 is, is when he is out. So the reason I believe this is news, you might be wondering, well, Sean, this happened uh, a couple of years ago. He was arrested. He was charged. He was sent to jail. He comes out 2027. Why, why is this in the news? Why are we talking about it? The body cam footage. Um, the body cam footage was released, and that's that's what happens a lot of the time. Uh, crime happens, nobody knows about it, and then the body cam just it gets released. News stories or um, newspapers, publications, whoever pick up on it, and then it starts spreading around. Uh, commentators like myself go, "Oh my goodness, look at this! I had no idea this was a thing," and then. Yeah, I guess that's why it's in the news. That is pretty crazy, right? So a sickening video shows 45-year-old stalker showing up at a 12-year-old YouTuber's house. YouTubers, um, you know, easy. They're sort of like, I don't know, easy, easy, not easy pickings, but they're like, um, because a lot of people watch a lot of YouTubers, 
some of them fall prey. Again, Melly Mac was my example. So that that's this video. Just kind of just kind of a crazy video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Anyways, I love you. All of you. Follow me on Rumble. I mean on YouTube as well. On Twitter as well at Third Railify. But definitely on Rumble. I'm not long for this YouTube world. Anyways, I love you all. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>